Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're going to be taking a look at something that I've made. It's basically a Wii U controller that is 42 inches big. <laughs> I managed to get my hands on a touchscreen TV, I've managed to hook up the Semu or the Wii U emulator to run using the touchscreen TV as a Wii U controller. Now that is inception kind of madness. We're going to see how this performs, we're going to see how this reacts, and to see if this is the ultimate Wii U controller that has ever been invented. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Right, so in this demo today, we're going to be playing Nintendo Land. I'm going to be using my Xbox One S pad for the actual functionality and normal getting around the game as you normally do, like your pad. And of course, utilizing the touchscreen that <laughs> is working and it's working damn well. Now, I'm using this on Nintendo Land because it's an exceptional game. It really is. Nintendo really know how to do first party support and the seal of quality isn't let down with any game that they release. Of course, this is more of a tech demo, which kind of aids me with what I want to do today because it means that I can use different types of control devices to get it to work the way it would in real life. Except, I'm going to be doing this on my 42 inch touchscreen TV with my Xbox One controller. Something like the perfect combination. <laughs> Now, I could have only dreamed of my Wii U pad being that big or to get that kind of functionality. But now, I can, thank God. So I can put my Wii U pad to bed and I can, well, game as you can see now. Now, first off, I was surprised that it was actually going to boot and work the way it is. Especially when I switched on my touchscreen to see if it was actually functioning. But it is. It's just like a mouse control. And using the Semi emulator, it uses the mouse control to actually pinpoint wherever it is you're going to press on the Wii U pad. In other words, my presses are emulating me pressing on the actual screen. Now, I didn't know how far this was going to go, so I wanted to boot into some games which would give me that kind of functionality. Now, thankfully, the Nintendo Land Game Array is pretty big, and I wanted to use something which was obviously going to utilize the touchscreen more than anything, so Balloon Trip Freeze was my option today. And that's because of the way it uses its control system on the Nintendo Land version. This is the original release back on the NES back in 1986, I think it was, and it's an awesome game. If you haven't got this in your collection, make sure you do, because not only is the gameplay awesome, but the actual soundtrack is awesome as well um, this is the full levels where basically you would do combat you would pop each other's balloons there was all kinds of mechanics I'm not gonna go into too much depth into it but it's an awesome game if you haven't got it make sure you collect it and this was later reincarnated to the Game Boy giving us this version called Balloon Kid and this was the version or this is the game in fact that actually got me to purchase an NES later than everybody else because I loved this game so much and I wanted to see what the original game was like it's got awesome gameplay mechanics and an awesome soundtrack to boot but anyway we digress back to Nintendo Land and here as you can see is the gameplay from well me testing it out now because I'm playing this on the emulator I'm not able to do the touchscreen thing through the Wii U itself I have to use this using the emulator and it doesn't allow me to make any profiles for my character however what it does allow me to do is obviously use my 42 inch touchscreen TV which is awesome by the way and I wasn't expecting it to perform the way that it is as you can see um, I thought I'd be able to touch it maybe but in able to use the actual detailed control method in other words me swooping from one side to the other curling it round actually being able to control it the way it was intended in the game that's absolutely awesome and something that I wasn't expecting to happen so having this fully playable through the Wii U emulator Semu <laughs> it's just another string to its bow and it probably opens up a lot more doors for a lot of other emulators which I haven't really thought about utilizing this kind of technology with basically this is turning a 
I don't know, my TV into a huge gamepad, a Wii U gamepad in this case, and it looks beautiful, it plays beautiful. In fact, this is a lot more, I don't know, reactive than that of the actual Wii U gamepad because I've got a lot more space to actually put my, um, I, don't, I don't know what you call them, my strokes on the actual screen, it allows me to get a lot more detail in the actual movement that I want to do in game. It sounds a lot more complicated than what it is. Basically, because the screen's bigger, I can use a lot more detailed strokes to get the game to react the way I want. In fact, that sounds even more complicated, but you get what I'm talking about anyway. So as you can see, the game is emulated nigh on perfectly. The sound is great, the music is great, the frames per second are nigh on perfect. The only thing is, when you get to the latter stages of the level, the game, for some reason, it's probably just because it's in its early days of development, the emulator just crashes. It just seems to freeze up. I'm not sure if that's just me on this test or if it's an actual full-time thing. I've got no idea. This was just a trial run for me to see if it would actually work. But, yeah. But I cannot really say anything about it because, like I said, this emulator is in early development. It's only been out for like a year and already it's playing some of the biggest titles from the Nintendo franchise not just well but in many cases a lot better than the original nintendo games that were released back on the wii u and that for me is absolutely awesome so that is the gameplay from me playing this using a 42 inch wii u control pad <laughs> awesome absolutely awesome so having this kind of functionality now blasts open the doors of other things that I could do. Basically, I've only just opened a can of worms that could be unleashed with this onto the Wii U games. I mean, off the top of my head, I can't even remember. I think Mario, a lot of the Rayman stuff, I could utilize this on many a game. Then you've got the fact of the other emulators also that take advantage of touchscreen on the actual devices and consoles out there, which are touchscreen also. Nintendo DS, the 3DS, I don't even know if that's enabled. I know the DS has but yeah it's limitless and I cannot wait to start trying this on other games to see how far I can push this then we've got the fact that I could actually use this on actually touch screen games such as Android games and all that kind of stuff the possibilities are endless anyway guys my thoughts are running away with me put comments down below if you would like me to test any games or if you've got any bright ideas of how we can make this function but it's been a pleasure as always. Please like, please subscribe. Please do all the things that people do when they've got a massive touch screen in the arsenal. <laughs> most of all, most of all, you have a good day. Laters.